Positive Learning Environments While learning a second language, students are stepping out of their comfort zone and learning a language that is not familiar. Thus, they become anxious and exhibit different emotions that include discomfort. The lack of familiarity, anxiety, and discomfort results in raised effective filter. Effective means connected with emotions, and the effective filter could be understood as a psychological barrier that increases or decreases based on a person's stress level and impacts a person's performance on tasks. People are constantly experiencing emotional states, and as CBI teachers, we must not ignore this part of our students. If their effective filter is low, students will be able to comprehend more and more language learning will take place. That is, when learners feel comfortable, motivated, and interested, they will pay attention to the input and will be willing to speak up. This promotes language acquisition. When learners experience negative emotions in a learning situation, for example, if they feel uncomfortable, anxious, bored, or unmotivated, they will not pay much attention to the input, and they will not interact or speak much. It is like a filter has come between the input and the learner. When this happens, the learner does not process the language, and there is no learning. CBI teachers need to create a positive classroom environment not just because it is the right thing to do, but also because it promotes language acquisition. But as CBI teachers, what can we do to create a positive learning environment? Here is a list of practices that can be followed every day in our classroom to keep the effective filter down and create a positive learning environment. Create a culture of respect. The most important thing that you can do to create a positive classroom environment is to establish an environment of respect. In showing respect, it is important to respect people's differences. When thinking about people's differences, we need to remember that people have different interests and different motivations. So, to keep our students interested and motivated, and to create a positive classroom environment, we as teachers need to get to know our students very well. Taking risks. Acquiring a second language means taking risks. Speaking in a new language means taking risks. It is necessary to create a positive classroom environment so that students feel comfortable taking these risks. We often see that some students are reluctant to use English in the classroom because they are afraid of making a mistake and perhaps being criticized by the teacher or embarrassed in front of their classmates. But we need to understand and make the students understand that errors are necessary. All language learners must make many, many errors and mistakes as they acquire the target language. This is part of the process, and that is why we need to create a classroom where students feel comfortable experimenting with the language and sharing their ideas. Feedback. Language learners need to pay attention to language form. They need to sometimes focus on forms. Part of that means that they need to get feedback from their teachers. Sometimes learners can become aware of errors they make and correct their mistakes on their own. But many times, learners need feedback to help them know where their mistakes are. As teachers, we need to learn to give feedback in a positive, constructive, and respectful way. We will continue discussing this topic in the next module as well. Here are the references used for this text.